14 wides? No. The 12, 12 wides with uh, two inch adapters. Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a 6 on 135 lug to an 8 on 65 lug. <laughs> Squatting pretty good, huh? Yeah. Which one? Didn't want to go on the highway. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. Knew it was gonna be heavy. Yeah. There's a pretty sweet project. You want to put it on the other way? Bourbon. What is up loud and proud crowd? So we are in the Dirty Max and I've gotten this comment so many times in the last couple of days. Why are you racking miles on the giveaway truck? Why don't you put miles on your own truck? I'm like, dude, I pay the bills, I spin the wheels. That's how that works, okay? I can drive my truck. If you have not heard yet, we are running a Duramax giveaway. So if you wanna win this truck, all you have to do is go down to the description below Go to the website, every $15 you spend is another entry to win. Do not miss out. Huge, huge, huge opportunity. Would hate for you to let this pass you by. I got myself a funky idea, fam. Like, really funky. So you guys know how I have these massive, and I'm talking huge wheels and tires, right? Well, I've got kind of a bad idea, and it's a really bad idea. And it may be a really, really bad idea, but I think I want to try it out just literally for laughs, and it might look hilarious. It's going to be completely unusable, but it might be really funny. We got the wheels and tires off of the OBS build in the back of the truck here, and we're going to go through kind of what my plan is for this, because some of you might kind of see what I'm going to be doing here. And no, don't freak out. Don't go in the comment section yet. Wait until you see the rest of the video through. It's going to be really funny, but it's actually going to be kind of cool in the meantime. We got the necessities. I got a jack. I got a breaker bar. I've already got my own tool set over at that uh, house. Me and my fiance picked up. Um, and then I got an extension cord and some other stuff. And also, we're going to be trying to sell these running boards here. This is the set off of the Longhorn in really, really good shape. Um, most of these running boards are pretty universal. They're not all exactly the same, but as you can see the difference between the two, there, there's almost no real huge difference other than slightly different um, mounting point for the brackets themselves. These are gonna be both for sale. Hit me up if you have an offer. Let's get on to the video. Devin did come by and he did pick up the first gen, which is awesome. So he's gonna be working on that and trying to get that thing wrapped up here. And I'm gonna try to get up there and film some of the progress of it if I can really is a goal of mine I text him I said whenever you're really gonna start to tear into it and get stuff I'm done on it let me know because I want to try to get up there and get some video of that stuff for these guys how about the suburban squat though he got that Cali lean going I mean hey he said he got it home no problem he's like yeah he's like it was uh it was squatting pretty good but it did just fine so anyways that's pretty cool hopefully you guys like that clip that was that was something else that was uh something I'd, I'd never seen before he had a Tahoe the exact same thing but obviously the Tahoe is shorter wheelbase. After I saw his Tahoe with that shorter wheelbase and the big mud tires and all that stuff, I'm like, I'm gonna get an Escalade, like one of the, like an 07 or 08 Escalade with like 100,000, 120,000 miles on it and do like a cool, you know, SUV build on it. I never did that, but when I was talking about that a while back, that's why is because I saw his Tahoe and I thought it was the coolest freaking thing. Okay, so we got the Dirty Max parked in the new shop. I got to, look at that, loud and proud diesel truck decal though, looking sharp. Just got one on the Longhorn too. I'm gonna start to brand all the trucks with the loud and proud um, Instagram handle, just because. Anyways guys, so I got the Mega, I got the Mega Chevy, no, I got the um, Dirty Max in the shop. And the reason I parked it straight in like this without turning the wheel sharp, getting it back in the corner, all that jazz is because, yes, Yes, it's true. I'm going to be putting the 37s and 22x14s on this truck for a video today. And this year, Duramax, we've got some of the finest specimens around. Anthem wheels, and I curved the crap out of this wheel. 
I'm sorry, Anthem, when you see this. I did not mean to, but I really needed that mocha at McDonald's, and this is the truck that I happened to be in. And I thought I could clear it. I honestly did, but I couldn't. So it got curved. I might buy another one. Um, I might have to go buy another Anthem wheel. So when I put them back in the first gen, they're all not curved, but you know, just, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. But we're gonna put these wheels and tires on this truck. Now, is it a great idea? Yes. Should I do it? Probably. So I'm gonna do it. Now these tires are taller than even the ones on the Longhorn. The Longhorn's got, these ones are wider. Longhorn's got 35 by 15 uh, wide tires and <clears throat> 22 by 14s on it. So it's gonna basically look about like this in terms of height, just a little bit more, um, but not quite the width. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the other ones are 37. They are taller a little bit, but this is give or take what it's gonna look like roughly but we're gonna try to put them on this truck. Now, is this something I'm gonna take down the road and try to drive the Duramax with these? No, I'm not. I'm just doing this so you guys can see what it would look like on 14 wides with a big beefy tire. Um, and that's why I backed the truck in the way that I did, which was just straight back in. Reagan, you probably noticed how I backed it straight in with the wheel straight. So that when I put them on, I can pull it straight out and not have to turn the wheels around because I'm not even planning on driving this down the road. Because obviously a 37 inch tire is not gonna turn on a stock high truck with a stock body, stock bumpers, everything else. It's just not, not gonna do it. So we're just doing this for laughs, some fun, some good times. And uh, let's get to taking off these wheels and tires and get these 37s put on. with these tires on it. I don't know if it does much justice, but look how small those 31s are. And then look at these. Let me get like a better rear view shot. This is crazy. Reagan is over here uh, peeling away at the wrap. How's that wrap coming off? A little out of time. A little out of time. Yeah, it's wanting to come off in pieces. Um, you just have to be very... It really efficient. honestly probably needs... It's got big up. chunks out though. Yeah, it probably honestly really needs to heat it up with a heat gun. So it'll all become really soft and flimsy. So we did get the wheels and tires on the Duramax. It looks... It looks pretty crazy. So we're going to show you guys obviously. Um, but it looks... Uh, Looks a little wild. Now the turning capability on this is not gonna be <clears throat> existent. Maybe about a quarter turn either way, <laughs> but that's about it. So we're gonna get this garage door open, get some good lighting on this, and uh, show you guys just how crazy this thing looks. Look at this freaking thing. We did get the Malibu back by the way. It was negative 45 one day and I drove that because my Longhorn, I'm like, ah, oh, that doesn't warranty anymore, so I'm going to drive the Malibu. And uh, when it was negative 45, that turbo on it seized up. So it was at the dealer getting a fix.
22 by 14s and 37s look like on a stock 2008 Silverado 2500 HD. The truck looks really freaking aggressive, it really does. And it looks kind of funky with the blue, white, and purple wheels with the, the red paint, but it doesn't look horrible. I mean, it's not clean, <laughs> but if you want it to just stand out and be different, it definitely could, you definitely could pull it off on this truck. I am being honest, it, it definitely could pull it off. Um, my fiance did start to peel this wrap off on this side, and that's what the lip looks like under there. It's just a black clip on there, so. We actually do have a buyer for these, so I need to get these off the truck really quick and throw them in the bed and get them sold. It was fun while it lasted, but you know what? They're just sitting around the shop, and there's nothing I really want to put these on right now, because if we run new wheels, we always just go with anthems, and I'm not really a huge fan of the Fuel Maverick 2-piece, but you know, it is what it is. Somebody else wants them, and so we're gonna sell them. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little shot around the truck. But uh, looks like we are on to the next thing. But we're gonna get these taken off real quick. Ones that we did have on already back on and throw them in the bed. It's gonna put a wrap on this video. Sorry for the lighting. I kind of forgot to end my video when I still had a little bit of good daylight outside and it's <clears throat> getting a little bit too dark now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and hopefully you guys uh, thought it was kind of cool to see the 22 by 14s in 37s on the Duramax, even though they're already back in the bed, and they actually are sold. So I gotta go take them to the guy who's buying them right now, and then uh, on to the next thing. We're actually gonna try to sell the running boards off the Longhorn, and the old running boards off the 7.3, the white 7.3, and just some more crap that we just gotta get out of the shop. It's just clutter, don't need it. Time to get it out, so that's what we're doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter to win this Duramax, by the way. The Duramax that you saw in today's video, you could win that truck. Go down to the description below, read the description. There's a small little introduction on how this giveaway works, so thank you guys so much. Every $15 you spend on LP gear is another entry to win, and you could be taking home this Duramax. Hit that subscribe button, leave your likes and comments down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.